Welcome to the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency Video News Podcast, bringing you the latest stories from around the UK's coast. In this edition, how MCA surveys the seabed around our coast using the latest available technology, making seafaring safer and revealing extraordinary new landscapes. With 10,500 miles of coastline, the MCA's job is quite a challenge. Well, there's more and more pressures on uh, safe navigation in the UK. We're getting deeper vessels visiting the UK, deeper draft vessels, uh, larger container ships than ever before visiting the UK. We're getting cruise liners visiting the parts of the UK which they've never visited before, recreational boaters going close into the coast. So now more than ever, we need to make sure that the, we have accurate information on the charts. Part of that job is to provide accurate survey information for nautical charts, the marine maps that mariners use. The Civil Hydrography Programme is intended to survey UK waters to ensure the safety of shipping. Some of these areas were last surveyed in the early 1800s using the same technology as Captain Cook. Well, in the old days, uh, you used to measure that how much water is under the vessel by a rope with a piece of lead on the end, that's, that's called the lead line. And that's where the phrase swinging the lead came from, because you had your lead line person standing at the bow of the vessel swinging the lead line, and every now and again he'd throw it into the water ahead of the vessel, pick the lead line back up again and measure the amount of rope that's gone out. There's obviously less effort in swinging the, the rope than having to pull it up again, so a very lazy lead, lead linesman would just do all the swinging of the lead and not pull it up again, so that's where the phrase swinging the lead came from. In 1997, the MCA contracted the Department of Maritime Studies and International Transport at the University of Wales to undertake a study to look at what would be needed from the MCA's hydrographic surveys. That meant looking at the marine environment and its use, and deciding on the most urgent priorities. The 2004 survey season saw the first use of new multi-beam echo sounding technology to gather bathymetric depth information for nautical charts. Recently, the BBC were on board the survey vessel Meridian to look at some of the wrecks located by high-resolution surveys in shallow water off the North Cornish coast. Dozens more wrecks have been charted, joining the 300 or so known wrecks lying beneath the waves in that area. We use an echo sounder to measure the, the depth of water and the modern echo sounders that we've got these days, not only do they look underneath the vessel but they look out to the side as well. So we can ensure that even areas where the vessel hasn't directly gone over, we can get acoustic energy back and we can measure the depths in those areas so we leave no stone unturned when we do the survey. But this isn't the first time MCA hydrographic surveys have discovered historically important wrecks on the seabed. During routine survey work, MCA tug Anglian Sovereign found two previously undiscovered wrecks of submarines 20 miles east of the Orkney Islands. Research by experts Bobby Forbes, Michael Lowry and Kevin Heath suggests that these are the wrecks of two First World War submarines, U-92 and U-102. Quite often uh, the things that we're interested in aren't the same things that they're interested in. So for example we could be sailing over the top of a wreck and measuring the shoalest point on that wreck, the one that's navigationally significant and that's all that's important to us. But we're also getting extremely good imagery of that wreck as well, so we're getting a really nice picture of the wreck which is very interesting to archaeologists for example. Quite often people don't realise there are still parts of the UK which have never been surveyed before or were last surveyed by the Victorians. And what we're also trying to do with that data as well is to send that data out to other people who might be interested, so other government departments who might be interested in measuring the fish stocks or working out where to put a wind farm. We know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the seabed around the UK, which is why the MCA's hydrographic survey work is so important. Secrets of the sea have been unlocked. Wrecked submarines and ships, evidence of sunken lagoons and Stone Age settlements, undiscovered geological landscapes, and evidence of catastrophic floods that happened millions of years ago. But more important than all of that, the MCA's surveys ensure that the charts seafarers use to navigate our coast are more accurate, more up-to-date, and therefore much safer. This work saves lives, prevents loss of shipping, and avoids marine pollution.